Good morning, YouTube. I hope you're all having a great day. I am so freaking tired. I stayed up late last night to watch House of Cards. The new season dropped and it is freaking insane. It's about 10 o'clock. Um, we've got to get up and get ready for today. Um, we've got a lot going on. Uh, first thing going on is that it's the end of Summer Shredding. Um, Summer Shredding was a competition that I entered where you had to send a video in of your physique uh, back in March and then you're cutting for three months, so trying to drop as much weight as you can, trying to get shredded, and then you send in your physique today. And the greatest transformations win, there's 20 winners. Um, also, I've got a FIFA tournament today with my buddy, um, where it's a doubles tournament, which is quite fun, and normally people are so bad in doubles, so I actually think we have a good shot, but I think the winner gets like 10 pound bar tab or something, so nothing special. Oh, I'm training with my buddy Paul, so, I didn't mention him in my last video because I was trying to make the video short, but he is the guy that first got me into training, like before I even saw Christian Guzman. He actually introduced me to Christian Guzman and when I first started training with Paul, um, he corrected my form on pretty much every single lift. Like my bench, I was only lifting 50kg and I was stuck, I couldn't get any higher and do you know why? Because my back was as flat as a pancake and he taught me the best way to do it. He constantly corrects my form, constantly gives me different training routines and gives me ideas for food and stuff like that and the guy is a beast um, so you're going to see him later and he is like a walking vein. He's literally so shredded, it's disgusting but sick. Best start of the day. Perfect. Oh, beautiful outside. Damn, look at that. So, just outside for a bit, enjoying the weather. Got my shake to start off the day, first meal of the day. I'll put the macros on the side somewhere on the screen so you can see and the ingredients I used. Beautiful day, look at it. needs cutting but don't mind about that then I've got to run a few errands um, I've got to book my speed awareness course because I was a bad boy went at 40 in a 30 mile hour zone I know freaking terrible I'm gonna get ready and go to London because I've got to play this FIFA tournament with Hugh so on our way to the train station on our way to London my outfit of the day is a bag a white t-shirt blue jean shorts and crepe shit LMD trainers. Um, I think it looks pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but on our way to the station, I'm looking like a proper tourist with this bag, I have to say. What have I got in the bag? That's what you're gonna ask. I've got my book, I've got my headphones, proper anti-social today, don't want no one speaking to me. Um, and then I have a bottle of water. As you guys know, I like my water when I travel. One and a half litres, as always. For those of you wondering, the book I'm reading is called The Testing. It was recommended to me by a good friend called Reese, um, and if you guys like the Hunger Games, you would love this book. It's literally, there's so many parallels. Um, it has that element of people getting put against each other in a sort of test, so, um, judging by the name, the testing. So um, yeah, I would definitely recommend it if you guys are into that sort of thing. Napoli versus Leon. Let's see how this goes. So here we go. We record it. Here we go. First, First game. 2-0 win for Napoli. 2-0 win for us. Stop. Could have scored more, but yeah. made a few mistakes. Group 7, take 3 points. Look at us at the top of the table. Boom. 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 So guys, just got knocked out of the tournament in the quarterfinals, lost 2-1, uh, Man United versus Napoli, we were Man United and uh, yeah, got knocked out. So I'm in London now, back on my way to Piccadilly Station and then on my way home, I'm going to get changed to my gym gear, get ready with Paul and we're going to smash a workout.
know what I've noticed, guys? Um, anybody who has a kid and uses a push chair actually uses it as a battering ram. Like, you are actually weaponizing your children. Also, guys, I just had a thought. I was on the way up the escalators in the train station, and you know those little boards on the side which normally talk about the theatre and, um, you know, they just advertise stuff. Someone said they should make those things interactive. And I was just thinking, what could you even do? Because you must get like three seconds per like poster board that you go past. So I was thinking maybe some sort of selfie thing, like, just a bit of fun. But I don't know what else you could do on there. What do you guys think? This is my whip back home from London Paddington. So I'm still a little bit butthurt about that loss because it was 2-1, they went 1-0 up, we went 1-1 one, uh, one, one after that and then we had a few good chances where we could have just buried the game there and then so if any of you guys know me you know I hate losing, I'm really competitive so still a bit hurt about that but looking forward to this workout, I think we're just doing some arms, getting our pump on um, and then best bit of the night, going to a pizza place that Paul's recommended, uh, it better be good, hope to god it's good best be a good cheat meal and then we're going to creams afterwards so i'm gonna i'm not holding out i'm gonna get the most disgusting dessert ever just wait till you see it so me and paul decided to hit a workout at our work gym um we are doing a quick abs and arm workout before we go and get that dirty cheat meal so the first exercise is leg raises you can do it one of two ways the way i'm doing here where you just lift your knees up uh, or the way paul's doing it where you lift your legs up most important thing is to, if you're doing it the way paul is is to get your legs over the halfway point otherwise it's just a hip flexor exercise and you really want to feel that crunch to hit your lower abs so then we move on to our next set which is our first heavy set and this is bicep curls with a barbell um, what you want to focus on here is keeping your elbows locked in at your sides and then just lifting your arm up to the top. You really want to get that full range of motion uh, where you're squeezing the bicep at the top and then letting your arms go all the way down to the bottom so you can feel that stretch in your triceps. Uh, we're using an arm blaster because that doesn't let you cheat. It keeps your arms, uh, elbows locked in in place and then you're literally just isolating that bicep. And can I just say, look at them veins, boy! Time for our next heavy set and you can see we're doing skull crushes here. So you want to start with the bar at the top using a close grip on the bar and then lowering the weight behind your head um, so you kind of finish at a 90 degree angle where your elbows are a 90 degree angle there. Um, you can pull your arms back a little bit slightly as you can see mine are just so you can get the weight behind your head. Um, how you lie on the bench doesn't matter too much. I arch my back, so does Paul. Um, another thing to make sure you keep in mind for this one, guys, is that your elbows are strict. You want to keep them in as much as possible and not let them flare out so you can really isolate those triceps. And you want to try and aim for about four sets of eight reps. Next up is cable crunches. Keep your legs and bum locked in place. Hold onto the rope on either side of your neck and trying to keep your arms as stable as possible and literally just pull down making sure you're breathing out and crunching in at the bottom of this movement so we supersetted that movement with the spider curls which you see here guys do not let the weight fool you you want to go for a light weight on this one it's harder than it looks but just focus on that full range of motion squeezing at the top coming down controlled and slow and stretching at the bottom so you feel those triceps engaged Next movement is everybody's favorite, it's the tricep pushdowns. So starting the movement, you kind of want to keep your elbows locked in, have a 90 degree angle at the top, hold onto the ropes and push them down. At the bottom of the movement, you can see how my fists go from facing forwards to facing to the floor guys and that's really important just to get that extra focus on those triceps hit this for about four to five sets aim for 10 to 12 reps uh, and go as heavy as you can to make sure you hit those movements um, can we just take a minute guys to appreciate the veins on paul's arm like holy shit it's like spider-man crawled up his ass and is trying to shoot a web out of his arm Time to hit them obliques, keep your body at a 90 degree angle between your legs and your torso, twist with the weight in your arms, keeping your back as straight as possible and breathe out on the twists, breathe in as you're twisting, if that makes any sense.
supersetted that movement with the movement you see here. This is just another bicep curls with dumbbells, keeping your elbows as far back as possible. Squeeze at the top, extend all the way bottom so you get that tricep engaged, you know the drill. It's like a fucking roadmap on his arm. Just smashed a incline walk on the treadmill, finished out the workout, and now we are going to get ready and going to eat some pizza and then going for the creams, which I'm most excited about. So I'll show you guys that when we eat it. So this yeah. is the cheat meal. Huh? Garlic bread, oh. bread and chicken. Stage one of the, stage one of the cheat meal. Yeah, pizza. Stage one, yeah, we're getting creams <laughs> off as well. So good. Part one of the <laughs> killing the cart has Part just one. been completed. We demolished the pizza, the breaded chicken, and the garlic bread. Now we're going to creams. Probably gonna get a milkshake and some waffles and some sundaes. Mix it all together. So that's just uh, one dessert <laughs> that we've ordered. <laughs> ice cream and a chocolate fudge. Hot, hot fudge mess, I think hot the, fudge mess. the technical term was. <laughs> so if one dessert wasn't enough. <laughs> so bloated it's uh it's like two o'clock in the morning and uh i just couldn't sleep because i was so full up but now i think i'm finally ready for bed the tiredness has hit didn't make it far in the fifa tournament today but smashed a workout freaking had an amazing cheat meal and good to spend time with my buddy paul and tomorrow i've got a lot of stuff to do a big day ahead of me as well so um i love the busy weekends man it's good to keep active keep yourself going keep busy uh, and always pushing forward so i am going to head to bed before i like just pass out but um thank you for watching again um please comment i love interacting with you guys like the video subscribe if you want to see more and that's me done. Good night. Peace.